This is the history button template at SharePoint-Words.com. This button has a simple purpose. It will display the history for a list item or for a file by just clicking a simple button. This is doing the same functionality as what you can get through the dialog pop-up window. The problem with the out-of-the-box functionality, that's a little bit buried and you may want to make it easier for your users to get to this version history. So I've created a placeholder column. This is just can be a text column or a calculated column, whatever you want, and I called it history. Now in order to use this template, you do need to get the list or library ID in order for this to work. So the way I can get to that is to go to the gear icon and if it's a library I can go to library settings and then more library settings and it's this long string of characters that immediately follows the equal sign in the URL so be sure to get that first I just copy that to my clipboard and I need to put that in the field that says list ID I'm just pasting that in and then that's about all that you have to remember to do. Now there's some different theme options. You can make that button look however you want. I'm going to stick with this first option. And then um, there's some suggestions in the bottom that give you more information. Now one thing that's important, if you're doing this for a library, you do need to include the content type field in the view. The reason is so that this button will be hidden for folders. We don't want to see a version history button next to a folder. It doesn't imply in that situation. So make sure you show that in your view. Let me go ahead and paste that code in one more time and I'm going to go ahead and stick with this. I will copy the template, follow the directions in the pop-up window, and now I can come into SharePoint, go to the column header, column settings, format this column, advanced mode, select all, paste, and save. There we go. So that's what you get. There's your history button. Now it's prominently displayed so your users aren't going to have to go digging for it. And this will pop up in a new window with that version history for you. And that's all there is to it. So it doesn't take them out of this view. So there you have it. That is the version history button at SharePoint-Boards.com. If you are interested in other SharePoint templates, there's all kinds of templates on this site. As of this video, there are 160 templates available. If you've never used SharePoint dashboards, there are 21 free templates. You can sign up for free to get access to those. And if you're further interested, you can sign up for the subscription option. Good luck.